Life is good in Hashem. Hashem loves you all. You are creation 13. I am Adam Bay, and today I'm going to read to you out of Deuteronomy. Um, I think it is chapter 31, verse 32. I think. I always get these confused. But anyways, it's entitled The Songs of Moses. So you find the Songs of Moses. There you go. Um, I'm going to read the Songs of Moses. Um, there is some things in here that really doesn't make sense and when I get to it I will read it and I will tell you why it does not make any sense why it's in there I am not entirely sure so when I get there I will let you know but um but you know if you read the Bible itself you know you will realize there's a lot of hidden symbolisms and a lot of the words have to be encoded because if you read words there's words within words and I'm doing research on words within words right now um, to kind of get the just of things. And um, and we will go from there. So anyways, uh, I will kind of explain some things that I notice as I read this. And, um, and we'll go from there. So the songs of Moses. And Moses recited the words of this song from the beginning to end in the hearings of the whole assembly of Israel and Israel if you break it down you got is I know this is reversed but you get the picture you got is Ra the eye of Ra the son of Ra and you got El which is Elohim El um, and you also got 13 you reverse 13 you get L. L El is 13 um, the 69, the spiral, the circle of life. And that's something that you got to do research on. But there is a specific reason why I say 13. So that's something you got to figure out for yourself. So I will go ahead and read this and we will go from there. All right, the Songs of Moses. And Moses recited the words of the song from beginning to end in the hearing of the whole assembly of Israel. And Israel means the whole world. That's why I just showed you that, because it says Israel, which means the whole world, or America. But it means the whole world, and that's something you got to think about. Um, listen, O heavens, and Hashem will speak. And if there's any I's or he's, um, I put Hashem in there. And if you don't know what Hashem is, uh, do research on Hashem, and you'll get it. Listen, O heavens, and Hashem will speak. Hear, O earth, the words of Hashem's mouth. Let my teachings fall like rain, and my words descend like dew, like showers on new grass, like abundant rain on tender plants. Hashem will proclaim the name of the authority, uh, which is also Hashem. Hashem will proclaim the name of Hashem. O oh, praise the greatness of our Hashem. Hashem is the rock. Hashem works are perfect, and all Hashem's ways are just. A faithful Hashem who does no wrong, upright and just is Hashem. They have acted corruptly towards Hashem. To their shame, they are no longer Hashem's children, but a warped and crooked generation, which is happening right now. Is this the way you repay the authority? Or is this the way you repay Hashem? Or well, foolish and unwise are the people. Is Hashem not your father, your creator, who made you and formed you? And this is something you know that, that you need to take heed in, that you need to listen to. Um, because... <laughs> This world is so corrupt right now, it's it's not even funny. You know, we are living in a lawless state. And Hashem right here warns you of this. And, um, you know, you, you have to be aware of, you know, of the corruption that's being played out. And you're going to see this as I read this. Um... So I'll go ahead and read this again, and then we'll move on. They have acted corruptly towards Hashem. To their shame, they are no longer Hashem's children, but a warped and crooked generation. Is this the way you repay Hashem, 
with authority? O foolish and unwise people, is Hashem not your father, your creator, who made you and who formed you? Remember the days of old, considering the generations long past, the past of the Bible, the bloodline of Abraham, that is being said now and it's being said, it was said in the past and it's being said now. Everything is a cycle and you're going to see that. Remember the days of old, consider the generations long past. Ask your father, your parents, and they will tell you. Ask your elders who are above your parents and they will explain to you um, about the past. And you can learn from the past and the past will always haunt you. So... Uh, when the Most High, and this is one of the very few times it says the Most High in the Bible. When the Most High gave the nations their inheritance, when Hashem divided all of mankind. And Israel, like I said, is the world. So Hashem divided all of mankind. He set up boundaries for the people according to the numbers of the sons of Israel, the world. For the sons of the world. For the authority's portion, for Hashem's portion, is Hashem's people. And right here it says, Jacob, his anointed inheritance. But Jacob, that word doesn't exist because J never existed back then. So if you look up Jacob, uh, you look up the Arabic word or the Hebrew word, you get um, Yaakov. So his real name is Yaakov. And if you translate Jacob or Jacob you get to follow or to be behind so um, if you take out Jacob Jacob you get this for for Hashem's portion is Hashem's people to follow Hashem's anointed inheritance and that unlocks something um, and what is this inheritance inheritance is found in Israel which is the world um, and inheritance is being talked about right now and that's something you got to do research on all right now I'm going to read this part and this part is its own and then the second chapter actually quite a few of the chapters become their own little story um, and it's quite confusing so I'm going to read each portion and Hopefully try to figure it out. And if you guys can figure it out a little better than me, then leave a comment. So, in a desert land, Hashem found Hashem. In a barren and howling waste, Hashem shielded Hashem and cared for Hashem. Hashem guarded Hashem as the apple of Hashem's eye, which is can be your third eye, the eye of Ra, so on and so forth. Like an eagle that stirs up its nest and hovers over its young, that spreads its wings to catch them and carries them on its pinions. The authority alone, Hashem alone, led Hashem. No foreign god was with Hashem. Now the reason I say this, because if you read it, it says a lot of he's and him's, is that the hidden symbolism behind there is to let you know that no matter what you do, Hashem is with you at all times. Hashem lives within you. Hashem lives outside you. Hashem is protecting you. Hashem is always there. And that's what it is explaining. And that's why it says in the desert. Because what is a desert? A desert is a wasteland or a desert can be within you. Because you have a whole exploration of within you to discover your spirit, to discover your soul um, is the same way outside in the real world. The real world is your desert, and you know you have to survive. And the best way to do that, you know, is discover on what makes everything possible, and that is Hashem. The spirit of Hashem is everywhere. It will guide you. Hashem will guide you, and Hashem will protect you. And if you if you follow that, if you follow Hashem, no harm will come to you. And that's what this site means. That's what this word, this, blah, that's what this 
means right here. And each portion through the Songs of Moses tells you um, the power of Hashem and that Hashem is everything um, that is living, it is no idol. And that's what it says down here. The authority alone or Hashem alone led Hashem. No foreign God was with Hashem. So there is no God above or below Hashem. It is strictly Hashem. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, so with that being said, it moves on to this one. And this one to me is quite confusing. So I'm going to read it as is without adding Hashem in it. The point being is if you add Hashem to this, it blasphemies the name. But I think it also represents um, false idols or idol worshiping. You know, you, you think you know Hashem but you're worshiping another God. So I I think that's what this means. Like I said, leave comments if you know something I don't. He made him ride on the heights of the land and fed him with the fruits of the fields. He nourished him with honey from the rock and with oil from the flank, from the flanky crag, with curds and milk from herd and flock and with fattened limbs, lambs and goats with choice rams of Bashan and the finest kernels of wheat. You drink the foaming blood of the grape. Jeshurun grew fat and kicked filled with food. He became heavy and slick. He abandoned Hashem who made him and rejected the rock Hashem the Savior. They made him jealous with their foreign they made Hashem jealous with their foreign gods and angered Hashem with their detestable idols. See, and that's where I get confused because it you know I don't know who the heck this Jashurun is, um but it grew fat and kicked filled with food. I, I, I don't I don't I don't get that part. And that whole part doesn't make any sense to me. So like I said, if you can explain it, cool. So I'll try to move on. So anyways, so whoever this Jeshuan is, um, he, he became fat and ignorant and totally abandoned Hashem. And that's what it says here. So I'll read from here and then it makes a lot more sense as it goes on. So Jeshuan abandoned, like I said, it could have been, it might just mean the people. And that could be what it represents because J doesn't exist anyways. So I'm going to say that humanity grew fat and kicked filled with food. He, humanity became heavy and slick. Humanity abandoned Hashem who made Hashem and rejected the rock Hashem the Savior. They made Hashem jealous with their foreign gods and angered Hashem with their detestable idols. They sacrificed to demons which is uh, what a lot of people are doing right now, um, especially with, with, um, with channeling and everything. They are channeling demons. And you can blast me all you want, but if you cannot see what you are talking to, or you will let a being into your being, it could be a demon. You never know. This is exactly why you need to trust Hashem and Hashem alone. And that's something you seriously need to to discover for yourself. You know, there's a lot of deception, a lot of of that whole new age deception. You know, that's out there. Ooh, let's channel all of these aliens or ETs. These ETs are channeling me, but you don't realize the deception. The spirit realm, the soul realm, is full of deception. Souls can lie. There is no mistaking. You would just have a flesh, but your soul lives on, and your soul can get trapped here, and your soul can manifest into beings. And if you can't see that, I don't know what to tell you. All I know is that the new age, the light workers, all that stuff, you know, is going against Hashem. You know, it's it's making you listen to um other beings words instead of Hashem's words 
You know, Hashem is everything. That's all you need to listen to. Hashem is what? Nature. Listen to nature. You know, nature will let you know what's up. Not some not some being from the ninth dimension and and some being, you know, Pleiadians, whatever. You know, they're all souls. Okay, they're all souls of some kind of nature. And who runs all the souls? Hashem does. And that's something you need to really, really look into. Um, so, yeah. So, anyways, they sacrifice two demons. And that means, you know, if you're channeling two, you know, you are sacrificing yourself to beings, to souls that you cannot see. And that's the basic gist of it. You are sacrificing yourself to demons. They sacrifice to demons which are not of Hashem. Gods they had not known. See, gods they had not known. Gods that recently appeared. Okay, and this is what's been happening for the past, oh, I think about 20 years. A little bit, probably before that. Well, no, actually, I think it's Albert Pike. I think it was, or oh, I forget who it was. Some guy in the 60s channeled some beings and and stuff. Whoever that was, I'm going to say it's Albert Pike or something like that. Um, I think Albert Pike's lives right now. I don't know. But whatever the case may be, a book in the 60s, this guy channeled some beings. Whatever. So those beings that are talked about in there are the ones that are recently appeared. So gods that recently appeared. Gods, your fathers, gods, your fathers did not fear. You know, you guys are not, you guys are not understanding the spirits that you're talking to. You know, fear can be translated into false evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. So you hear these great things about, you know, that these spirits are telling you, but it's still false evidence. You have no evidence to back up what is being said you know that's why we say in my videos that everything that I say is for research purposes it can be considered theory I'm just giving you guys information for you guys to do research on and you should always do research before you you give yourself to something so anyways I'll read this one more time and then we'll move on they sacrifice two demons which are not of Hashem Gods they had not known, gods that recently appeared, gods your fathers did not fear. You, des you deserted the rock who fathered you. You forgot Hashem who gave you birth. The authority, Hashem, saw this and rejected them because Hashem was angered by Hashem's sons and daughters. I will hide my face from them, Hashem said, and see what their end will be. For they are perverse, for they are a perverse generation, which is happening right now. This, they are talking to you of what is happening right here, now, the lawless ones. So, uh, Hashem will hide his face from them. Hashem said, and see what their end will be, for they are a perverse generation, children who are unfaithful. They made Hashem jealous by what is, by what is, by what is no God, and angered Hashem with their worth, with their worthless idols. I will make them envious by those who are not. I will make them envious by those who are not a people. I will make them angry by a nation that has no understanding or no understanding. For a fire has been kindled by my wrath, one that burns to the realm of death below. It will devour the earth and its harvest and set afire the foundations of the mountains. And it says harvest in there. And if you read in Revelations, it talks about the harvest being ready. And that's what's talking about right here. I will heap calamities upon them and spin 
spend my arrows against them. I will send wasting famines against them, consuming pestilence and deadly plague. And deadly plague is already happening right now. We got cancer, which is the main one. And cast and uh, blah, blah. And cancer is also famine and um, also pestilence. Um, basically, you know, ca cancer is a virus, an internal virus, a a spiritual virus, a soul virus, and that's something you can look up for yourself. So, anyways, I will continue reading. On. So, I will send wasting famine against them, consuming pestilence and deadly plague. I will send against them the fangs of wild beasts, the venom of vipers that glide in the dust. In the street, the sword will make them childless. In their homes, terror will reign. Young men and young women will perish, infants and gray-haired men. I said, Hashem said, Hashem would scatter them and blot out their memory from mankind. But Hashem dreaded the taunt of the enemy, lest the adversary misunderstood, and said, Our hand has triumphed. The authority, or Hashem, has not done all this. And what that means is, humanity has caused this upon themselves. They have caused their own destruction. Um, and this was what happens. You know, you know, this tells you right here, you know, that Hashem is not going to be be saying, Oh, what you're doing in your life, you know, you have you know, if you want to live your life that way, it's okay. You know, there is there is um, consequences for your actions. You know, Hashem does not love you for your ignorance or does not love you for your foolishness, does not love you for your personality, and does not love you for your ego. Hashem loves you for the purity of you, which is your soul. You know, I love you because your soul is pure, but I am not going to like you for being your character being your personality you know being in your own beliefs you know you know you can you can believe whatever you want you can do whatever you want but that's not the purity of your soul um, and that's something you really have to think about and that's what's being said right here you know Hashem allowed humanity to be their own God and and because they didn't trust and rely in Hashem, you know, they didn't follow the laws of Hashem, which is talked about in my previous video, um, they destroyed themselves. And Hashem is not going to feel sorry for you because you did this upon yourself. And, you know, that's something that, that this world's going to figure out here very shortly. You know, I, that's why I made the video The Lawless Ones. Because... People are living by what they they want to live the way they want to live. They're forgetting their soul and they're forgetting Hashem, and that's it, you know. And if Hashem, when Hashem shows up, Hashem's going to tell them, "You lived by what you wanted to do. You lived by your heart. You didn't live by you didn't live by my words. You live by your own words. And you're going to be destroyed by your own words. You know, if Hashem showed up as a person, Hashem would be killed. Because that's the where humanity is at right now. You know, and it's 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 horrible. You know, you can, you can watch videos, you know, on this whole gay rights thing, you know, on lesbians, gays and lesbians. And, you know, they're just spinning in Hashem's face. They're like, oh, no, you know, God is, you know, Hashem is living in the old ways. And, and we got to, we need to update, update the laws. We need to update on how, on how, uh, on humans think on things, you know. We need to live by our hearts and by live by our desires. 
right? So if you live by your heart and you live by your desires, then a person can go kill somebody and, and you know, you can just say, well, I was doing what my heart said. You know, I'm going to go take your wife or husband because, you know, that's what my heart told me to do. You know, are you just going to let that happen? No, you're not going to let that happen. That's that's being foolish. You know, you humanity doesn't get that there is the laws that were made there in the first place. Right? The laws of my yacht have been erased. The only way you can find the laws of my yacht is if you look up the laws of my yacht. You know, you got the Ten Commandments in there. That's fine, but it's not all the laws. You know, they leave a lot of things out. And, you know, humans have become so foolish in... I know my, my fire is starting to build up right now. But, you know, full, humans have become so foolish into thinking that they run their own lives and that they can do whatever they want to do. You know, no matter what it is, they think that they are in charge of their own lives. They're not in charge of their own lives. Parasites are in charge of your lives. You know, um, demons are in charge of your life because you have allowed your personality, um, your persona to overtake you. Um, you can control your personality. You can control your persona. And I'm going to talk about uh, personas and personalities in another video. But you, if you can learn to control your personality and you follow the laws that Hashem gave you, the laws of my Yad, the Ten Commandments, and you take heed in those, you listen to those, you obey those, life will be good for you because you're living the way life is supposed to be meant. You know, Hashem said, be fruitful and multiply. If you are with a woman and a woman and a man with a man, how are you being fruitful? You know, if you're if you got this big old huge um, business that is building all this garbage that isn't food, you know, um, you know, you don't are that are making uh, greenhouses and gardens, you know, things to nourish the body, and you know, all they're doing is killing killing and killing and chemicals and killing that's not being fearful that's being destructive as well so you know this whole world is being destructive you know we do not need any plants whatsoever we do not need any power plants we don't need any of those at all they need to just go away we should not have we should not have have um power plants or Big old things that have radioactive material in there. They, there's no reason for it. We do not need any of that. This earth supplies everything we need. And it, I, ah, it's so frustrating. Listen to Hashem. Hashem will guide you. Hashem will follow you. Where is Hashem? Out in nature. Be fruitful and multiply. Out in nature. Be. You have to be with a man and you got to be with a female. To multiply. I don't know what else to tell you. You know, you're going to live your life the way you want to live. That's fine. But you are creating your own God for yourself. You can put, you can put, you know, you can say that this is what God says, but that's just putting words in Hashem's mouth. You are saying what you think Hashem is saying. And that's the problem. You are thinking what Hashem is saying when Hashem's words have already been spoken. So you got to really think of what you're saying. Um, I have this conversation a lot with with people, you know, in that, well, my God and my views of God, and that's, and that's how they see it. They view their way. And so they make, so they are speaking that they are God. They're speaking for God. Can't do that. Can't do that. So, anyways, yeah, that got me on fire right there. <laughs> but, you know, this is very serious stuff, and this is why I'm reading this, because this is exactly what this is telling me. All right, so let me see if I can find out where I was. All right. They are a nation without sense. There is no discernment within them. If only they were wise and would understand this and discern what their end will be. 
humanity is not seeing what they are creating for themselves. How could one man chase a thousand or two? How could one man chase a thousand or two put ten thousand to flight? In symbolism right there. That even threw me off. Unless the rock had sold them. Unless the authority, unless Hashem had given them up. Hashem, basic, basic meaning for this means um, that Hashem never gave up on humanity. Hashem never gave up on humanity. Hashem allowed humanity to create, either create their own fruitfulness and prosperity, or, Hash, or humanity created their own destruction, which is happening right now. Humanity did this. Hashem never abandoned you. Hashem never left you. Humanity chose to do this to themselves. To themselves. You know, and and that's that's just how it is. For the rock is not like our rock, as even our enemies concede. Their vine comes from the vine of Sodom and Gomorrah, the lawless ones, the the bloodline of Cain, the curse of Cain. I talked about that in previous videos as well. Their vine, which also means bloodline, their vine comes from the vine of Sodom and from the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are filled with poison and their clusters with bitterness. Their wine is the venom of serpents, the deadly poison of cobras. Have, have have I Hashem not kept this in reserve and sealed it in my vaults? It is mine to avenge. Hashem will repay. In due time, their foot will slip. See, Hashem will repay. Hashem, Hashem will repay based on what you have done so if you have been destructful you live by your God which is your words then you will re be repaid by what you do so if you were destructive destruction and pain is going to come to you and that ain't my words that's right here so in due time their foot will slip their day of disaster is near and their doom rushes upon them the authority Hashem will judge his people. Remember, Hashem, when Hashem arrives, you will be judged. You will be judged. You know, and that's something that humanity does not understand. You know, you go to all these things of like, you don't judge me. Someone's going to be judging you. You are going to be judged. And when Hashem tells you that you're guilty of your own sin, that's it. You can argue and complain all you want, but when there is somebody who is over you you cannot be you and think that you can get away with all this stuff you were created and you do have someone who is over you you are not your own you never were your own you are always connected your soul is connected to Hashem to the Most High to the Universal God you are connected to Hashem um, and you will get what you what you gave to the world. Hashem will judge his people and have compassion on Hashem's servants. Those who follow Hashem's laws and words will be paid for what they have done. When he when Hashem sees their strength is gone. And when no one is left, slave or free, Hashem will say, Now where are their gods? The rock that I took refuge in. Which means that when Hashem shows up, Hashem will challenge you saying, Where are your gods at? How come your gods that you worship and idled, that you channeled, which are demons, that you channeled, how come they're not saving you from all this? How come they're not saving you from from the fiery depths of this city or saving you from the floods 
of this city or saving you from the lava of the city the fire of the city or saving you from the the earthquakes that have made you fall deep within the earth you know where is your god that you prayed if hashem is not your god then why has your god not showed up something to think about whoo man so the gods who ate the fat of their sacrifices which is humanity the humanity the humans who ate the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings let them rise up to help you let them give you shelter so humanity needs to shelter their own because they abandon Hashem and Hashem is not going to take care of those who abandon Hashem something to think about see now that I myself am he see now that I Hashem am he Hashem okay see that I am I am Hashem the God above all gods there is no God besides me I put to death and I bring to life I have wounded and I have healed and no one can deliver out of Hashem's hand. I lift my hand to heaven and declare as surely as I live forever. When I sharpen my flashing sword and my hand grasps it in judgment, I will take vengeance on my adversaries and repay those who hate me. I will make my arrows drunk with blood while my sword devours flesh. The blood of the slain and the captives, the heads of the enemy leaders. Rejoice, O nations, with Hashem's people, for Hashem will avenge the blood of Hashem's servants. Hashem will take vengeance on Hashem's enemies and make atonement for Hashem's land and people. Now, what kind of what is Hashem? Did you not hear those words that were spoken? Hashem is not going to come to you in love and joy, unless if you are following Hashem. If you follow Hashem and His words, you'll be fine. If you're following your own God or think that you are God or think that you are speaking God's word, speaking Hashem's words, excuse me, excuse me, speaking Hashem's words. If you think that you are in Hashem, that you are speaking Hashem's words, um, you're going to be devoured by that. You are going to be put to death. You're going to be prosecuted. You're going to hear the wrath of Hashem. Hashem is not going to accept you for who you are. Hashem is going to accept you if you followed Hashem's laws and rules. And that's it. You know, just like any parent or like in any school or work, you don't follow their laws, you're going to get fired, you're going to be kicked out, you're going to be disciplined. And that's it. Humanity is at a stage where they are lawless, where they feel that they are are spoiled children that can do whatever they want without consequence and that time is coming um, and it's coming soon and this is why it says warn your generations because even in the Bible it told told it foretold that judgment would be placed upon the world and it was talked about for a thousand years and then Sodom and Gomorrah happened in here. And Sodom and Gomorrah is happening again. And there is going to be judgment for that. Humanity is going to be judged for that. If you're not following Hashem's laws and ways, then you're done. You're done. And that's what it exactly says in here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end it on that. Whew. Man, that was intense. But I really hope that this makes a lot of sense. Um, that this helps you think about where you're at in life, you know, and what you are believing in. And if you 
if you follow my video videos you know you watched my videos before you know I told you that believe means you are believing in lies you know if you believe in something you are living a lie um, you just need to follow the words of Hashem like I said you got to look up the laws of my yacht that was taken out so you got to look up the laws of my yacht then you got the Ten Commandments put them together and boom you got the laws of Hashem you stay on that righteous path and you follow those laws and rules um, you be fruitful stay fruitful and be creative creating creating a business um, you'll be fine you'll be fine um, and remember this is the flesh um, and my souls tell me you know that you know the righteous ones you know those who do follow Hashem's laws um, can be prosecuted as well but you will not be you will not be harmed um, totally your soul will never be harmed um, but regardless no fear okay no fear um, just keep with the laws follow Hashem and you'll be all right okay so this video is long but everything that was need to be said was said um, if you got any questions let me know um, um, if you got any insight leave a comment um, and maybe we can talk about it later on so yeah so whoo that was some powerful stuff right there so yeah so Take heed to the words that I said today, um, to what was said in the Bible. And uh, just realize, you know, that time can come any time. You know, we are preparing, we are preparing the generations, okay? I am preparing my children and then their children need to prepare their children. You never know when that time will come, okay? You never know when that time will come because humanity will destroy themselves literally they will get to that state and then Hashem the most highs will show up and will judge those who have destroyed Hashem's creations um, and that's all there is to it when that's going to happen hard to say but that's where you take heed now you live right you live on the righteous path and you can continue to be an inspiration to your children and then their children will pass it on to their children and what I mean by children I mean by the whole world children as a whole the children of the world the children of Israel which is the whole world we're here to teach the whole world this you know there the whole world is divided just like it says in there divided by false gods by false idols you know you got you got Buddha, you got you got you got all these gods around the world, but you never got one that is Hashem. And you don't need an idol anyways for Hashem. Hashem is everything. Right? Hashem is everything. Hashem is the earth. Hashem is nature. Hashem is everything. You do not need to see Hashem. You do not need to worship Hashem. All you need to do is follow the laws the rules be fruitful um, thank Hashem uh, um, ah, da, 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 da. ask for forgiveness from Hashem and you know stay on that path you know don't follow the rules of this world you know um, and I'll talk about that you know um, you know it says do not follow don't follow the worldly ways of this world and that's everything that literally is everything that is humanity's that is humanity's fault is the world they fell into their own godly ways um, so yeah so I'll go ahead and end this video because a lot of people don't like to watch videos if they're super long but if you're stuck in this with me awesome that means that you are listening you are taking heed. Um, you do have eyes, eyes, eyes to see and ears to hear. So I thank you for that. So, anyways, if you have any questions, let me know. I love you all very much. Hashem loves you very much. 
Um, Hashem loves your soul, and Hashem would love to see your soul overtake you so you can be the real you and not the character that you think you are, which I've talked about in previous videos too. So I love you all very much. Keep shining bright. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Um, and discover yourself. So, yeah. So, talk to you in a little bit.